hello hello welcome to my channel thank you for clicking on this video so this is going to be a tutorial on how to sign up and navigate the dashboard of cj affiliate now if you have subscribed to my channel or if you've just stopped by before you may already know that i have also done tutorials on awin and impact.com so i just wanted to go over really quickly why cj affiliate all of this is of course going to depend on your goals and who you want to work with so i mean first really with cj it's the brand cj is one of the oldest and biggest affiliate networks so you will find a lot of major household names here especially in retail travel and finance whereas awin for example leans global it's very strong in europe and has a mix of smaller and mid-sized brands impact very modern and tends to partner with tech companies subscription services things of that nature so the types of offers feel very different compared to cj remember that i do timestamp everything in the description if you want to move ahead otherwise let's go ahead and get started on the following page you want to go ahead and sign up as a partner create your account with your information here on this page on the next page they will ask you to accept their terms and conditions and a quick note for you you cannot move forward until you click the hyperlink to demonstrate that you have in fact read their different agreements so as you can see the accept agreement is grayed out down here that is because i haven't clicked the hyperlink to take me to the publisher service agreement and so on so you will have to open these up and hopefully you do read them to the best of your understanding and then you move forward. We have created an account and made it to the next page. So here they set out a whole onboarding checklist for you to complete before your account becomes active. As you saw in that window that popped up, they do this to keep the quality of their partners high so that they can continue to work with the notable brands that they work with. Under the user information tab, we're gonna select edit and then this brings us to enter our personal information and select your communication preferences as well. Moving on to the next step in the onboarding checklist, again, click edit. The description box is your opportunity to really sell yourself and why you would make a good affiliate partner for the brands that CJ works with. And here you can read what I am writing, of course, about my YouTube channel. As you can see, it doesn't have to be too elaborate. After you have saved your work, then you can move on to the next onboarding task on the home page. And the next step that we have is adding a promotional property. Of course, there's nothing here, so we have to create property. And this is where you will indicate how you are going to market these brands. So for me, it is social as I do YouTube. I wanted to point out really quick, I sometimes get questions in my comment section asking about the amount of followers that somebody has for example on their social media platform i currently do not have a lot of subscribers and you all are going to help me change that right but it's just to say i was able to get this account activated and i only have 139 subscribers at the filming of this video so i don't want you to feel discouraged if you have a smaller following on your social media I'm not going into a lot of detail here on this page because I do think that it's pretty self-explanatory and I know that you all are so smart so I don't need to do that. You can go ahead and just follow along with me and I trust that you can answer these questions for yourself and your own platform. Don't forget to add the hashtags at the bottom. Those are really important. And then you go to next. Oops, I made an error and I wanted to make sure that you all knew about it. So do select this part here where it says set to primary. You do have to select that. Then you can submit and move on to the next onboarding step. This next section, you won't be able to follow along with me because it is private personal information. However, you got this, you can fill this out. It will ask you for your password. Every single time you go to the next step, 
under this tab here. So just be forewarned. I wanted to let you know real quick, don't get too tripped up by organization name. You don't have to have an official business, just use your social media platform. And then we move on to tax information, which it of course asks again for our password. As I am not a tax professional, I cannot give you any advice here when it comes to this. All I can say is that it gives the description underneath each item for the form that you want to complete. And that is up to you to decide what is best given the description that they offer. Another important note here, because this confused me the first time, as I am not a large business with employees, I do not have an employee identification number. I have a social security number, but both of these have a red asterisk indicating that they are both required in order to move forward. However, once you input your social security number, the employer identification number will no longer have the red asterisk next to it. So this is just to let you know that one of them has to be filled out, not both. Once you reach the end, you certify that everything is true, and then you move on to the next step in the onboarding process, which is payment information. And we want to get this part right, because why are we doing this to get paid, to make more money, obviously so enter that password one last time and let's go <laughs> the minimum payout amount for cj they default to 100 but you can set it as low as 50 dollars for direct deposit in the united states what this means is that if your commissions are below that amount they roll over to the next month until you hit the minimum which in this case could be 50 dollars if you never reach the threshold and your account goes inactive for too long, commissions just eventually expire. So it's best to stay active. Now we are going to answer their final questions before activating our account. The account activation did happen instantly, which was really nice because oftentimes with these affiliate marketing platforms, there is a verification process that usually takes anywhere from 24 to 72 hours, but this happened right away. Okay, so here we are at the dashboard. Just a very quick breakdown for you. The advertiser section right there on the right hand side, this is where you browse and apply to different affiliate programs. Just above advertisers is the network stats. This section shows you key performance data like clicks, sales, and commissions across all of your programs. It's basically your real-time snapshot of how your links are performing. And then there's the performance summary on the left-hand side. This gives you a quick overview of your earnings, how much you've made today, this month, and historically throughout your time with CJ Affiliates. Under the advertiser section, I am going to make sure that the country where I reside is selected because this can make a difference in the advertisers that are available to you. Keep in mind that this section on the dashboard is just a quick snapshot of the different advertisers that they work with. It is not reflective of every advertiser that is available to you. I'm going to go ahead and select Cool Frames Advertiser so that we can see what the profiles generally look like. Under more info, you get a general summary of the advertiser. Then under program terms, this section is really important because it lays out the commission rate the cookie duration, and any special rules or restrictions. Always read this carefully so you know exactly how and when you'll get paid. Then with relationship history, this is if you have applied before or worked with this advertiser in the past, that information will show up here, which of course is why nothing is populating for me. Lastly, the linked account section. This is where some advertisers run programs in multiple regions or with related brands and this section connects those accounts so you can apply more easily. I wanted to show you the Find Advertisers page and how it is different from the quick glimpse that you are given on your dashboard. At the top, you'll see a search bar where you can type in a company name or keyword if you already know what you're looking for. On the left-hand side, there are filters. You can narrow advertisers down by category, country, language, 
or even by specific program features like commission type or cookie link. All of these advertisers are displayed with quick info, name, category, network earnings score, and whether they're currently open to new publishers. From here, you can click into any advertiser to view their full profile like we just did with Cool Lens, check the program terms, and apply if it's a good fit. So in short, this section is your starting point for discovering new affiliate opportunities inside of this platform. I believe that most of what they have listed under the Partners tab is pretty self-explanatory. It is something that you can intuitively figure out just by reading the tabs. So I won't bore you to death going into all of that. Same deal for the reports tab here. I do want to show you the window for the program overview, however. The first part is program analysis, which gives you the high level metrics, the conversion rate, average order value, and trends over time. Under performance, we get detailed stats, clicks, sales, earnings per click, and time series charts. Use this to judge whether the program actually converts and whether it's worth promoting. Okay, and then under affiliate customer journey here, I'm really sorry that I don't have data to show you, but I'm just going to explain quickly. Date range is self-explanatory. Dimension defines how the data is grouped and displayed. Common dimensions may include things like affiliate partner, traffic source, customer journey step, and so on. Metric defines what is being measured. So some examples may include clicks, conversions, conversion rate, and revenue or commission. The last section that I'm going to show you is link tools under account. This is where you will find all of the tracking links available for promoting offers. Each link is unique to your account, meaning it tracks the traffic and conversions that you generate so all commissions are correctly credited to you. This is where you can copy your links, you can preview landing pages to see where customers will be directed, and in some cases you can customize parameters to better track campaigns or traffic sources. That is going to conclude this tutorial on CJ Affiliates. I really hope that this was helpful to you. Please drop a comment and let me know if you have any questions or if there are any future tutorials that you would like to see. If this video was useful to you, please do me the favor in liking, sharing, and subscribing. It really, really does help me out and I appreciate your support. Until next time, take care. <laughs>